welcome to Mavuno Kids Service. And my name is Hypesess alongside Ike the DJ. And of course, today I'm so privileged to be joined by the one and only Samara. Yeah, we are so excited because it's the first Sunday of October. So tell your neighbor, give me some space, give me some space. I'm so excited to sing and dance for the Lord. So are you ready? Okay, so we're going to sing some new songs from Mavuna Worship. So get up on your feet and let's sing and dance together. Let's go. Come on, get some space, get some space, get some space, get some space. Come on this way. Just sweep from side to side. Come on. Hey. Sweep from side to side, everybody. Let's go. Come on. Hey. Now follow me this way. Follow me, let's go. You turn into joy. Again. Hey, let's go. Now move like this, go. Hey, it's the fewer, let's go. Now you know it's one more time, let's go. Into joy. Take it out. Hey. Now follow me, go. Now one, two, three, let's go. Hey. Can away, can let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Come on. Come on. One more time. Let's go. Now put one hand up in the air. Take it low slowly. One, two, three, let's go. Again, come on. Bring it up, let's go. Turn it. Hey. One more time, let's go. Hey. Again, let's go. Bring it up. How many jars are go? So now, boys and girls, put your hand at this clap. Right, let's go. My Jesus power. Super power. Super power. Hey. All of the power. Powerless. Powerless. Again. My, my Jesus power. Super power. Super power. Hey. All of the power. Powerless. Powerless. Again. My Jesus. Super power, super power. Come on, come on. One, two, three, let's go. Hey, hey, wicked dance, wicked dance, wicked dance. Everybody, give the Lord a dance. Let's go. Give the Lord a dance. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One, two, three, let's go. Hey, let's go. Come on, shake your neighbor a little bit. Shake your neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, the Lord is so good. And he's a superpower. Amen, 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 amen. So right now, I just want you to just catch a breath. Just relax. Even as we compose ourselves to just sing more and more to God. Amen. So right now, just lift up both of your hands to Jesus as a sign of surrender to him. Because our Father in heaven, he is a superpower. 
and all other powers are powerless. So we are no longer slaves to fear. We are no longer slaves to anything because our God is a superpower. So just lift up your hands in worship and join us as we sing together. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Say, as I am. I am a child of God. Come on, one more time, just sing. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Because I'm a child of God. I am a child of God. Come on, now just move from side to side and worship Him. I'm no longer Say. a slave to fear. Say, because I'm a child of God. I am a child If you know you're not a slave to fear, one more time sing and say I'm no longer a slave to fear Cause I'm a child of God you say I am a child of God You say I'm no longer a slave to fear Cause I'm a child of God I am a child of God Wonderful just declare Tell him, because I'm a child of God. I am a child of God. Father, this is our testimony that you are no longer slaves to fear. Maybe we have had fear that maybe our, our friends will leave us when we speak the truth. We have had different kind of fears. But today we stand our ground in the word of God and we declare that you are no longer slaves to fear. Because you are, we are children of God. So because your word says that greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. So we will not fear anything. We will not walk in fear. Because God is in us and he is a superpower. For this we pray, trust and believe in, in Jesus name. And God should have said, Amen, Amen, and... Amen! Woo! It's Alki the DJ. dressed differently you know what that means this is a special month for us the children from africa and that is because the whole of this month we dedicate it to prayer the month of october boys and girls is a month where children from africa dedicate for prayer how amazing is that anyway Today, I have the amazing Ethan with me. Hey, Teacher Brenda. Hi, Ethan. Great to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Oh. Hey, friends. Welcome <laughs> to the MK service, Teacher Brenda. Yes, Ethan. Do you mean that children from all African countries will be praying, even from Uganda, from Ethiopia, Malawi? Even Japan and maybe Jamaica? Do you mean all those will be praying? 
Wow, Ethan, Japan and Jamaica are not in Africa. <laughs> but it would be so good if they joined us in prayer too. Oh, Don't you okay. agree? I know, I know. I was just pulling your rig. Oh, Ethan. <laughs> yeah. Same old, same old Ethan. <laughs> so, boys and girls, our new series this October is titled Pray to Stand Out. When we spend time with God in prayer, we come out empowered like the emperor, the conqueror, the champion is here. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it, Ethan? Indeed, it's great, teacher brother. Um, um, it's, it's great. Mm-hmm. We, we, we also become full of faith. Yeah. We become confident. And in one word, we, we stand, stand out. out. Yeah. Yes, we really do stand out, Ethan. And so, boys and girls, we are inviting you to celebrate the Africa Children's Prayer Day with us as we go through this series, okay? So, we want to understand prayer, Ethan. We we want us to understand prayer better, all right? Mm -hmm. And also, to pray. You know, it's one thing to understand prayer and it's another thing to pray. So we shall be looking at the four P's, Ethan. How many? Four. Four P's of prayer. And please tell us what they are, Ethan. What's the first one? Yeah, I'll be happy to tell you. Uh, okay. The first, the four P's of prayer uh-huh. are passion, uh-huh. purpose, uh-huh. presence, and, and protection. Good job, boys and girls. So today we kick off with my favorite fruit, which is passion fruit. Just kidding. (laughs) We kick off with passion, okay? And what is passion? What is passion? That's a really good question. Not the fruit, Ethan. What is passion? Yeah, what is passion? Now, passion fruit is a fruit that is dark in color and is very yummy and makes really good juice. But passion (laughs) in prayer is a powerful feeling or excitement about something, okay? It is a strong interest about something, Ethan. (sighs) But another question would be, Ethan, what are you passionate about? Well, I'm glad you asked me that. Uh Uh-huh. Of course, cookies, <laughs> um, maybe some smokies. <laughs> wow, oh, Ethan. Don't worry, I'm just pulling your leg again. Um, anyway, mm-hmm. I am passionate about reading and teaching God's word, mm-hmm. about prayer, school, football, swimming. But I love so much um, uh, about Jesus. Mm-hmm. I get so excited telling children about him. Mm-hmm. He is so amazing. He is so good. Oh. So wonderful. I don't know what to say. Oh, Ethan, clearly you are passionate about Jesus. Do you want to know what Teacher B is passionate about? What are you passionate about, Teacher Brenda? Well, are you ready? I'm so ready. Go are ahead. Are you ready? Are you ready to know what I'm passionate about? <laughs> I am passionate about Jesus and his word. I am passionate about teaching young boys and girls about the word of God. And recently, I have learned that I'm very passionate about dancing, Ethan. Do you want to see my dance moves? Yeah, go ahead. Ah, all right. My Jesus powers, the power or other powers. Powerless. You wow. have to teach me. You have to teach me those I moves. cannot wait to teach you this moves, Ethan. <laughs> well, it's so good to know that uh, what you are passionate about, Teacher Brenda. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you, Ethan. How about you, boys and girls? What are you passionate about? Whatever you are passionate about makes you stand out. You give more time and attention to something that you are passionate about, okay? And today we introduce the first P, which is passion in prayer. Are you ready, boys and girls? Yes, yes, we are ready. It's your teacher, Brenda. I and my friends are ready. Awesome. Like we said, Ethan, people who are passionate about something to do, sorry, people who are passionate about something do it very well. They go the extra mile and they remain committed to it no matter what 
They never, ever give up. Now, Ethan, in the same way, God is calling us to be passionate about prayer. Oh, that is such a high calling. You know, teacher, Brian, sometimes mm -hmm. I am in such a hurry to pray and <laughs> to finish. I, I just mumble a few words mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean, Ethan. I used to be in the same position that you were in. I would just sit down when people are praying and just start staring at the ceiling, stare at the grass, look right, look left, look up, look down, and then mumble amen. <laughs> I would be so impatient and just pray quickly so that I can do other things, you know? But that's not right, Ethan. God wants us to make prayer a priority. He wants us to make prayer number one, you know? And in addition to that, he also wants us to pray with passion. Yeah, but how do we pray with the passion? Wow, that's a good question. Boys and girls, let's open our Bibles and read from James chapter 5, verse 16b. And boys and girls, this is a lesson that the Bible has answers to every single thing. So James 5, 16b teaches us on how to pray with passion. And it says, The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. But in a different version, Ethan, the word fervent is used to mean forceful, passionate, heartfelt, powerful, or wholehearted. Okay, Ethan, are we together? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, to pray with passion means giving it your best and doing it wholeheartedly. <laughs> Not just mumbling two words no. and running out. Mm -mm. No, -uh. um, I'm so excited about this lesson, teacher Brenda. Yeah. To be honest, because I truly don't, I want to learn how to pray passionately. And let me say, just say this, Ethan, I love that you are so passionate and that you want to take the actual step to learn how to pray passionately. And boys and girls, God is calling us higher. He's calling us higher. Ethan, say higher. 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 <laughs> he wants us to commit to praying passionately. In the Bible, yet again, boys and girls, we meet a young man called Jabez <laughs> who prayed passionately. And let's read his story from 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. Let's read 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. Boys and girls, open your Bibles and read with me. Verse 9 says, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, a saying meaning I, give, I gave birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to God. Imagine, the mom called him pain because she was in so much pain when she gave birth to him. Ouch! I know, but Jabez cried out to God of Israel and said, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me. Let your hand be with me. Do this. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free of pain. And guess what, Ethan? What? God granted his request. Isn't that great? Wow. Yes, it is, teacher Brenda. <laughs> yeah. You know, I can hear the passion in it. Mm -hmm. You know, though that name, ouch, pain. <laughs> I know. Makes you, want to wa makes you wonder what your name actually means. I'll go, I need to find out what Brenda Mwikali means. I need, I need to sit down and, 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 and find out what my name actually means, you know. But you know what, Ethan? Mm -hmm. Jabez did not want his life to be about pain as his Jabez did not want his life to be about pain as his mom had named him. He went before God and passionately asked the Lord to turn his story. Oh, go ahead. Oh, 
like I'm, I'm I'm passionately I'm passionately trying to explain this story. I can hear you passionately. <laughs> passionately. <laughs> and God had him. Boys and girls, is there something you would like God to change for you or give you the strength to go through? Ethan, is there something you'd like God to change for you or give you strength to go through? Is there like you mean like Jabez? Like Jabez, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah. I and, do have something. Uh-huh. And and the secret is to praying passionately like Jabez. Well, I do have something. What is it, Ethan? Um, I would love mm-hmm. to learn how to pray passionately like Jabez, to be committed and also to pray wholeheartedly, not just to matter to mumble just a few words. Yeah. But to actually be able to to talk to God. Yes, Ethan. You know, the thing is, you actually just need to go ahead and ask God to help you. It's that simple. Well, <laughs> um, you mean uh, that God would help me to pray with the passion yes. and commitment? Yes. Help me to... Okay, then uh, let me just pray. Okay, Ethan, let's pray. Okay, dear Lord. Mm-hmm. I pray that you may help me to pray with passion and commitment and help me. To make prayer an important part of my day, teach me to pray wholeheartedly. In Jesus' name. Amen. That was such a beautiful prayer, Ethan. May God grant you your heart's request, okay? Mm -hmm. What about you, boys and girls? Will you pray with passion? (sighs) As we do that, let's go to our memory verse for this month as you ponder on the passionate word that has just been delivered. <laughs> and our memory verse comes from 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10. And it says, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. That is such an amazing memory verse, Ethan. Yes, I love it. it it's so amazing. It really is. It has very deep words. It, it does. It really does. <laughs> And that is super, super duper great. Children, please, please learn the verse and let it help you pray with passion. Like Ethan <laughs> and Jabez, I too will do the same. We have come to the, oh, Ethan, I really don't like this part. Oh, have we come to the end of the lesson today? Almost. Oh, man. Man. It was so short. It really was. <laughs> But please join us next time as we learn yet another P for prayer. Today, we pray for children according to Philippians 4.13, which says, I can do all things, all things through Christ who strengthens us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I know that you are there to help me in all things. Teach me and help me with my schoolwork when things seem hard help me to perform well in jesus name and all the kids said a to the m to the e to the n 
Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much, <laughs> Teacher Brenda, for praying for me and my friends. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And you know, I I would like to just say goodbye. Yeah. But I look forward to another wonderful time. And I want to ask my friends to pray with passion the whole of this week. Ciao. Bye. God bless you, boys and girls. See you next Sunday.